Hey folks, how's it going there? Uh, welcome back here to a Tuesday. Man, I've been busy out here on the side of the uh, of the uh, stream, and uh, we got another earthquake coming in here on this Tuesday, October first, two thousand twenty-four, about five fifty p.m. Uh, four point zero earthquake coming in now near the Avenal area, four point one to be exact, uh, across the Diablo range. This is just off the San Andreas Fault here. Looks like on the west side of the San Joaquin Valley. Just coming in right now as we speak and under uh, underneath an automatic status review. Now the seismograph stations are picking up that earthquake quite nicely. Um, there is the San Juan Bautista area picking up that four pointer. Also a little spike up there in Mendocino, Northern California. Got, uh, it looks like either uh, another earthquake at the same time or maybe that could be the P wave, but that, uh, Either way, showing up there on that seismograph station as well. Um, let's see here. Barrett's barely starting to pick that up, it looks like, on uh, one of the stations there. So this uh, event, oh, actually they upgraded this to a 4.4 .4 earthquake right now um, near Kalinga, Avenal. This is just the, uh, uh, you know, another event out here in Southern California. And I've been saying to watch this area closely. The San Andreas Fault here, I feel, is underneath quite a bit of strain. We've seen numerous swarms out here all over the place in many different locations. And it appears as though um, it is picking up today for sure in a uh, big fashion. Now, previously... Uh, we had a 3.5 down here across the area of Los Angeles in the Fontana earthquake swarm region. This area uh, has seen a lot of earthquake activity out here in the last couple weeks. And uh, movement working its way up north it looks like here. But overall the pattern has been straining this area of the San Andreas Fault. This is, you know, this is a ways away from the San Andreas Fault, but not by much. Just goes to show you the overall strain pattern that's uh, been really starting to pick up here across the southern portion of the state so we need to be on guard uh, for some larger scale damaging earthquake activity here soon uh, still underneath an automatic status uh, let me check out the uh, magnitudes out here real quick it's weird because it went up um, they went with a air reporting uh, error reporting station of a 0.34 there is some other ones here uh, with a 0.18 error uh, magnitude level. Uh, some of these stations reporting this as a 5.0 earthquake, 5.9. I highly doubt that. Uh, but there is quite a few fives stern in here. Uh, so this could get revised on the upper scale. It's already gone up a little bit from a 4.1 to a 4.4. So uh, if you're around this area, let me know. Goodness, we got a lot of earthquake activity coming in. Uh, to the area right now. I was just checking here in chat, seeing if uh, anyone felt this earthquake here. Let me know uh, if you felt it. Kind of curious to see uh, what it felt like. I, I uh, know a 4.4 is not a big one, but it's increasing in magnitudes out here. And the overall pattern is a, uh, it's a doomy, doom and gloom type of pattern out here, unfortunately, uh, when it comes to larger, qu uh, larger quake activity out here. The San Andreas Fault, of course, very capable of producing an 8.1 earthquake across the southern segment here. The Parkfield segment, the Parkfield section here of the San Andreas Fault is overdue for a, at least a six pointer. Um, and earthquake activity has been ramping up all over the place here been hearing about it a lot right all over the news all over social media all over YouTube I've been covering it a lot here and now we got another 4.4 coming in just the latest in a pattern of elevated earthquake activity here across Southern California now it's a good possibility this could be uh, getting close to seeing that we could be getting close to seeing a bigger quake out here across the region no one knows when it's gonna happen but an overall pattern of elevated seismicity has been happening out here in the last couple months and it's continuing today. So stay safe and be on guard. Um, there's a uh, San Juan Batista station picking up that four pointer. And I think that's all, well, I got the Barrett station, but that really didn't pick it up surprisingly. Barrett is down there across the San Diego area. 
I think it's called Barrett, Barrett one of the two. Um, didn't really pick it up, but 4.4 earthquake, Avenal area, underneath automatic status review. Some reports now coming in from the uh, southern end of the San Joaquin Valley, Fresno, maybe some areas out against the east side of the valley as well, but it will take a little bit for some of these, these reports to come in, but... Uh, yeah, a lot, a lot happening here today, folks. I think Southern California is uh, pretty ripe for a big one. Looks like a little 1.7 immediately following that 4.4. Um, it has not been revised yet, so it could get downgraded, could get upgraded. I don't think it's going to get downgraded, um, but we'll see. All right, I'm out here on the side, folks. We'll catch you guys back here a little bit later tonight to cover all this activity, including the very large X flare. That popped off here just a short time ago. You guys have a good, safe evening. And we'll catch you guys back out here in a couple hours.